When you think of a teacher's life, you might think boring and strict, but with Mrs. R, it's a whole different story. She like connects with us, and like she's very open and polite. She's kind of crazy, but in a good way. Good crazy. She didn't always want to be an English teacher. When she was younger, she thought of doing something different. Before I became a teacher, I went to college to be a criminologist. I thought I wanted to be a parole officer, and I took my first class in criminology and hated it. I didn't realize it was a major part of the study to study criminals. So, but I liked English classes and writing, and I had a teacher read my writing out loud one day and made me think I could write, so that's where my English journey began. Besides teaching, some things Mrs. R does outside of school is scrapbooking, traveling, camping, and on top of all those things is running. I actually wasn't even a runner in high school. Like, I ran track, but it was not a big deal. And so then, uh, when I was about 21, my sister, who lives in Georgia, every time she would come to town, we would just go jogging together and run. So she inspired me to run a race, and I, my first big race was a 50,000 people in a 10K in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was very crowded and very hot at the 4th of July, and I was hooked. I loved that race atmosphere, so she and I started racing together, meeting up. When she teaches, she puts her running goals into her teaching. She talks a lot about running, and she kind of ties it in with her lessons sometimes. When Mrs. R runs, she usually runs with someone. One of those people she runs with is Mrs. Dina Marka. I met Mrs. R at the beginning of last year. Um, it was my first year at Kickapoo, and she came and introduced herself. She's a really good running partner, and we kind of go the same pace and just get a chance to chat. After getting a medal from finishing a marathon in Oklahoma, she thought the marathon was so fun, she set a goal to run at least a half marathon in each state. So next time, when you're thinking about a teacher's life, think again and actually take time to meet them. You never know what you will expect.